<laughs> just we do have some storms tonight, right? We could get some rumbles of thunder. Okay. Nothing severe. We're not have to worry about that, but you're definitely going to hear some rumbles of thunder, and we're going to get some rain out of this, and our yards are pretty so soggy, I should say, after all the snow melt and the frost melting as well. Take a look at the weather this morning. These are yesterday's highs, I should say. 66. Not even close. Not even close to a record. The record was 77. But 66 degrees yesterday because, well, we never got the clouds. They stayed just to the south of us. Temperatures right now even warmer than yesterday. 68 in Tosa and West Dallas, 68 in Milwaukee, 67 in South Milwaukee and Oak Creek. Now, we did have a little bit of light rain right around sunrise this morning. Since then, we've had plenty of sunshine and just a few clouds passing overhead. The clouds are beginning to move in once again. And with that, there is a lone shower right around Rockford getting ready to move into Beloit and Janesville. This is very minor. I mean, light to a light rain shower and it lasts for less than 10 minutes because it's moving so quickly just enough to get the pavement wet for a few isolated folks as i mentioned we've had some sun but you notice the clouds are moving in just a little bit so more clouds already today than we had yesterday more wind southwest at 20 gusting even higher than that and that is bringing in the warmth we should hit 70 today it's already hit 70 in racine and kenosha it is close to that in burlington at 68 67 lake geneva and it is 68 in west bend Take away the wind. It is another gorgeous day. Unfortunately, we're seeing higher wind gusts. Yesterday, they were around 15, maybe 20 miles per hour. Today, they're 20, 30, even 35 mile per hour wind gusts. And we'll continue with those strong winds later this evening, gusting anywhere from 20 to 30. But later tonight, the winds will start to shift to the northwest. And tomorrow morning and into the early afternoon, we'll have a lighter westerly wind at 15 miles per hour. We'll say 5 to 15. By afternoon, the winds shift to the northeast and temperatures begin to drop, especially at the lakefront, as we'll have cooler at the lake conditions for tomorrow. So for this afternoon, some clouds, just an isolated chance of a shower, better chance of rain after 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. And during the overnight hours, we'll get some moderate rain showers. As I mentioned, maybe even a rumble of thunder out there overnight, and it will be lingering into the early morning hours like it did this morning. And then we'll get a little bit of clearing like today and yesterday. Winds will be lighter, but then they shift to the east and give us that cooler temperature in the afternoon. And then another round of rain showers overnight tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So it seems like the rain wants to develop in the overnight hours and be out of here during the day, which is just fine. We could pick up about a half inch or more of rain from now until Thursday afternoon with some of these isolated downpours. But for today, we're going to call it partly to mostly cloudy, just an isolated shower possible, a high temperature around 70 degrees in those southwest winds at 20 to 35. 70 degrees. That's 30 degrees above normal, but still not a record. 51 tonight, cloudy, fog developing, and some scattered light thunder showers overnight. Here's a seven-day forecast. Cooler tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. That 56 will be around the noon hour. That's behind the cold front that slides through tonight. And then we'll drop into the 40s in the afternoon with a northeasterly breeze. Still mostly cloudy. Some fog and a few showers on Thursday at 47. Sunny, but 45 on Friday. That looks cold but it's still five degrees above normal and we get back into the lower 50s for the weekend and early next week. Just an unreal stretch of weather we're enjoying. All right, Brian, thank you.